Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X-Plane 11. For this flight I'm going from Chibu in Japan to Tokyo in Japan in the Kyushu J7W Shinden which is this plane. This is a relatively new freeware plane and it is very risky. A lot of the planes that I've flown uh, throughout this series have been fairly safe. This one is not. This one is definitely not safe. And I'm very worried about it. And I may not make it, folks. I may not make it. We'll see what happens. I mean, you can see the little wheels on the vertical stabilizers at the bottom to prevent us from ripping off the the propeller. In fact, I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, fly it from in here on takeoff because that's how worried I am. And yeah, yeah, this could be tough. Unfortunately, it doesn't have very good indications for what you call it, uh, minimum speeds or anything, no red bar or anything. So we will see. Uh, of course, with the as with the rest of the series, we are going to continue listening to Apollo audio. We are in the midst of the Apollo 13 audio. They are reading up some procedures as usual. Apollo 13 involved quite a lot of procedures because they had to figure out how to troubleshoot things. So here we continue to listen to that. As soon as it decides yeah, to actually play, there we go. Nothing else. Okay. On page 14, so, follow up. To page 15. Breaks off. And under RCS uh, checkout. I'm a little bit worried about that wiggle. We'd like to scratch that wording and just say verify the following switches. Guidance control. Pings. Step three is a uh, correction. It's uh, line three. Okay. Let me rotate. Oh, oh, okay. Be careful. Be careful. I, I, I get all this condensation or whatever auto. in front. That's weird. Okay, gear up. Verify ACA I don't know what all that business LMP is about. Enable. ACA all right. Four jet LMP enable. Let's go outside. ACA translation. Whoa. LMP. Enable. Lots of propeller torque. That is all on uh, page 15. Over. Okay, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. I don't know a lot about this plane except it looks nifty. Certainly looks nifty. But can I even land this? I don't know. Up. Good sighting the stars. Where's the other one? I'll put it back in here. Hello, Aquarius. Uh, Houston on uh, activation page 16. Now, the over. distance for the flight is 152 nautical miles, so I don't okay, have any by, uh, need to press this to its maximum speeds, and it's probably safer not to try and overheat the engine or anything. We want to take our time. This should be a very scenic portion of the flight. Okay, Fred. I don't know if we can see Mount Fuji. I don't know which one it would be. Not yet, probably. But we will be flying by Mount Fuji. That's for sure. Down through the end of the page, except cross out that CSM maneuver to burn attitude, then CMC free. Over. Yeah, I kind of deduced that one, Charlie. Uh, page 16, uh, Doc did burn pinks, except uh, we'll forget the CSM maneuver. Okay, and you can forget the app's uh, follow-up, too. Okay, on page 17... And throw it back uh, quite far. Perform and it's still doing a pretty good, of ex good job of accelerating. And in four minutes, we got a change. First line, CB16, inverter 2, close. Uh, I don't know if we can see in here. Two, scratch out, select the throttle setting. Yeah, a little bit tough to make out. 
at uh, proceeding on down the page after attitude monitor, we'd like you to place the rate scale to 25 degrees a second. Okay, proceeding on down four more lines to balance couple. We'd like to turn balance couple off. That's to keep the uh, up firing jets off of the uh, CSM in case we have to damp any rates in AGS. So we don't think we will. Then perform the rest of that page as written. Over. Okay, on page 17, uh, do the ag load uh, at minus four minutes. It's uh, CB-11 inverter two closed. It's back select inverter one. Uh, rate scale changed to 25 degrees. We're currently minutes. headed towards Toyohashi. Uh, we'll turn uh, off. And uh, incidentally, on the ag's uh, dampened rates uh, point... Uh, the bay in front of us is Mikawa Bay. got that story for you uh, pretty well in hand. We're reviewing it right now, uh, and I'd like to defer that uh, question until uh, later on. Basically, we're just going to shut down and take what we got, and uh, we got a mid-course of about uh, the maximum of five foot per second anywhere in the burn to get back to a free return. That, that's basically the story. We'll give you the mission rules for this burn momentarily. I'd like to proceed on to page 18. At uh, minus one minute, scratch master arm on. Stand by. Stand by. Okay, I'm page 18, and I've already done that. At one minute, uh, master arm uh, on, I'll scratch. Slip it up, already the uh, CB 16, abort stage closed for the previous burn. Okay, I, we want you to close the uh, CB 16, abort stage, over. Ah, oh, it's still going faster. Well, of course we're going down okay, a little uh, bit, but still. Mm, yes, sir. Uh, keep like control to, over uh, that. I'm too worried about overstressing the vehicle. We're gonna back up, uh, don't know how fast it's supposed to go, really. Command override, uh, at, uh, plus, uh, one second. Uh, backing up to page 17, at minus four minutes, you read CB11 inverter two. It should be CB16 inverter two. Over. Okay, so the city in front of us to our right a bit is Toyohashi, you can see it's centered on that river. Oh, apparently there's some building here causing extra lag. Well, that setting got rid of that. I mean, sometimes it's really just one building that just has some ridiculous texture on it. And if we get past the building, uh, everything is fine. So let's see if I see now. I turn it back to the previous setting with all the extra autogen scenery and it's all right if I look backwards well, I don't know seems to not have a problem now I don't know what happened scratch master arm off and at proceeding on down to add sometimes the logic of graphics eludes me after the mode control pings to add hold we'd like a verb 76 and then damp excessive rates via the uh, LIM YZ translation. Over. So this lake in front of us is Lake Hamana. And the city across the lake from here is Hamamatsu, which is a pretty big city. Uh, 
that's uh, negative at this this burn uh, we're looking at uh, not reaching 37 percent so I don't think we'll have to perform that step but we will verify that for you okay one other statement at engine cutoff if manual start then at 30 feet per second to go throttle to 40 percent at delta V equals zero stop push button push over Yep, Apollo a little bit choppy Houston. here now. As yeah, so we're flying over Hamamatsu's That's airport, I guess. We do, we well, there's actually a lot of buildings around here for Hamamatsu, you can see. See, track and field thing there. stuff going on around here but we will continue on I don't know what the buildings are necessarily I mean, from this angle, the little effects don't seem to be aimed at the cockpit, but inside the cockpit, it's like clouding up the windshield, so <laughs> interesting. be a bad deal to fly this around extensively seems like a challenging plane but it's a nice looking plane and seems pretty fast again I've, I've thrall down quite a lot maybe 60 percent of my thrall range here I just head straight towards Shizuoka, I think. Okay, the same we're over Shizuoka Prefecture, and we're headed towards Shizuoka City. Ignition time. Uh, it's choppy it's again. No start. Manual start push button push. It's still no start. This engine command override on. And the same comments apply to shutting down if manual start. Over. Okay, uh, the same uh, comments, uh, I'll start at the top again here. Okay, balance couple should be changed to off. Under TTCA, uh, it should be LMP TTCA to jet. Scratch 400 plus 1 at minus 2. Scratch a master arm on at minus 1. Add uh, at minus 10 seconds manual haulage. Uh, add ignition, uh, can add the comment about uh, if no start, uh, start push button push. Oops, sorry about that. 
knock and two mugs five, together. I think I can see Mount Fuji there. The yeah, that yeah, that's Mount Fuji to our left uh, in the haze four. there. Roger, Fredo. Now we aren't uh, uh, also at minus 30 seconds. Uh, we aren't looking at an ag burn, so you can scratch your port push button push. And at delta V equal to zero, scratch, abort, push button, reset, over. We estimate the change of shift briefing to start in about 10 minutes. Uh, Dr. Payne will be available to meet with newsmen in the auditorium immediately after the change of shift briefing. Abort, push button, reset, scratch. Okay, you got it, babe. Uh, we'll have some uh, mission rules for you momentarily and the uh, power down uh, checklist and also a uh, PTC uh, set up, over. Interesting to note that Babe was gender neutral okay. at the time, and I don't know when it stopped being gender neutral, to be honest. Go ahead, Jim. I mean, obviously you had, like, Babe Ruth, I mean, but that was way earlier, and, but, yeah, the astronauts seem to address each other as Babe with some regularity. Or not just gender neutral, but it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, okay, that that's, that's the effect I had when I pulled up. Star sightings, uh, through the eyepiece of but in the it's sort of a casual term rather than a uh, term of minutes. endearment. I guess you would say. It is considered Houston, professional uh, in this case, I suppose. Uh, Aquarius, uh, Houston, yep, that's uh, Mount Fuji over there. Yeah. Uh, we don't want you to uh, waste any more uh, RCS gas uh, trying to do this P-52. And uh, be advised, uh, you guys are uh, hot mic if you haven't heard of them. Okay, let's do Okay, uh, we're putting uh, Vance back on standby. So this is Shizuoka City. Right in front of us. And the bay is Suruga Bay. Well, none of the other views are going to be very nice unless they have uh, Fuji in the middle of it, so. Apollo Control, Houston, 75 sort of hours, 26 maybe minutes. something like that. Apollo 13, now 4968 nautical miles out from the moon, uh, traveling at a speed of 4,631 feet per second. So yep, she's okay, woke up behind yeah, we us. Have, uh, a couple of pads to give you, and stand by. Let's we'll uh, check to see if we have anything. And the city, um, the city sort of by the bay, at the foot of Mount Fuji is of course Fuji City, <laughs> and uh, sort of closer to Mount Fuji is Fuji no Miya City. Okay, 
Okay, uh, about all we have to do is to uh, send up your state vectors and target loads, and uh, that'll have to wait a couple of minutes until uh, we get ready to do so. And if you're ready to copy, I can give you a P-30 maneuver pad for PC plus two, and after that, probably you should eat, and then we'll regroup again to send up other things. Over. Okay, it's sort of an unfortunate effect, but okay. let's see, can I turn it up again? Okay, this is a Maybe. P30 oh, um, scenery package PC had a problem. I already made note of that, okay. That is apparently not affecting this particular area, thankfully. Plus zero eight one nine two. Minus zero zero two zero zero. Minus zero two one eight nine. Na. Plus zero zero two zero nine. Zero eight four eight two. Four two zero. Yeah, the sort of dominant position of Mount Fuji. Two seven four amidst the surrounding landscape is zero eight always two. impressive. Plus zero eight two zero three. Minus zero zero two zero zero. Minus zero two one five zero. <coughs> Comments. All ages, two jets for 10 seconds. CSM weight, 62480. LEM weight, 33576. And the following is the dips throttle profile. Five seconds at minimum, followed by 21 seconds at 40%, and the re remainder at max. Over. Okay, a PC plus two, zero, seven, matter, two, seven, four, zero, zero, seven, plus, Zero eight one nine or two minus zero zero two zero zero minus zero one eight nine in flash A plus zero zero two zero nine and on to Kanagawa Prefecture and the city of Yokohama will be next. I think Mount Fuji looks better from a distance, to be honest. Really better in context. That's correct, Fred. If you'll take out a maneuver pad, I'll give you some uh, landing information over. Now let's see, parting view? Okay, you're talking in the CSM update book? Uh, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's a firm.
There are sci-fi spaceships that don't look a whole lot different from this plane. Uh, this is a CSM maneuver pad for to monitor. Okay, since we're uh, going PC down a bit. Plus two. Let's and back. it's uh, going to be mainly blank, except I want to give you your noun 61 latitude and longitude range to go for the EMS and uh, that sort of thing. Okay, go ahead. Okay, at the top, purpose is monitor PC. The bay to our right is now Sagami Bay. Everything is blank until you get down to noun 61. Latitude as follows. Minus 2147. Minus 1650 1-1-6-6-0-0 1-1-6-6-0 1-1-6-6-0 1-4-2-3-9-2-0 Over Now once we get to Tokyo, I'll turn on all the buildings and even if there's some lag, we'll put up with it so that we get a good view of everything. Roger, that's correct, uh, Fredo, and we now would like to get you in a configuration to uplink your state vector and target load. So if you're ready to copy, uh, have some circuit breaker changes for you. Over. You can see some buildings there. I believe that's at Yokohama. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, circuit breaker panel 11, up data link close. Primary power amp panel 16, close. We're gonna uh, go towards uh, Yokosuka first. The uh, change of shift briefing is be ready to start. Which is uh, south right of Yokohama. Participants are in the auditorium. Ready to start right now. Pooh and Data. Okay, we're now in Pooh and Data, and uh, switches and breakers are configured. You got it. Okay, thank you. You're coming in loud and clear. Apollo Control Houston, 75 hours, 37 minutes. That preliminary uh, PC plus two hour pad uh, indicated a time of ignition uh, for the dips burn of 79 hours, 27 minutes, 40 seconds. Burn duration, four minutes, 20 seconds. Delta V, uh, 850 feet per second. So this is Standing among the burns that they're doing to, to are close to system. the moon to get back home. Control Houston, 75 hours, 38 minutes. Our uh, LOS uh, what is that? mission control shows where... Suddenly uh, it looks like we've got a space elevator hour, uh, there. I don't know, that's probably minutes, some mistake uh, right seconds, there. Uh, ...from time of loss of signal with, from 13 as a spacecraft passes over the backside of the moon. Well, that or it's the tallest building in the world, I mean... This is Apollo control yeah, Houston. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. Here. Something has gone horribly wrong right there. Well, Go it's ahead. a monument now. Okay, Jim, I have about three things. Uh, first thing, the, the computer is yours again. The second thing, no PTC maneuvering will be required from now till burn, so you can just uh, sit in the burn. Don't know how tent. that happens. And the third thing is. Uh, like to back out of this uh, procedure we just uh, put you into to up data link which uh, would mean uh, going uh, from TM bitrate high back to low ranging to off voice to down voice primary power amp to close hold up man okay <laughs> we have a program alarm man it's 1106 uh oh, program alarm. You Stand might by. want that high bit rate. Okay, that uh, apparently was just my uh, putting the uh, 
Got that link switch off that set that bit. Roger. We concur on that, and uh, I'll, I'll read this back to you a little more slowly, Fred. Okay, are you ready to copy? Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, TM bit rate to low. Ranging to off. Voice to down voice. So this is sort of the southern end of Tokyo Bay. And then we're going to basically do a U-turn to head up it. And uh, or open. And circuit breaker 11 up data link to close or to uh, open. Over. Okay, this is Yokosuka. And you can sort of see the port there. Okay, Fred, reading you loud and clear now. Okay, I got the power amp off, uh, down voice back up, TCM to low bit rate, and the uh, update link uh, breaker on 11 is uh, full. Okay, uh, copy, thank you. And so the city we see with all the tall buildings in front of us is Yokohama. And then sort of to the right on the horizon you can see the buildings at Tokyo itself. Okay, on the, this last readback, we'd just like to verify that the primary power amp was uh, pulled open. Over. That's the firm, uh, use the breaker on 16. The primary S-band power amp breaker is open. Okay, thank you. And again, to our right is Tokyo Bay. The uh, program alarm 1106 uh, is in the computer, and it's uh, for uh, uplink too fast. Uh, the indication was there when uh, Jim Lovell took over the computer, uh, possibly he flipped a switch uh, too fast. Uh, looking at our disky uh, display, our computer displays here in Mission Control, uh, we notice that uh, a program alarm has been showing uh, from an earlier event uh, that occurred yesterday evening. Uh, it was not unexpected. We're at 75 hours, 48 minutes into the flight, and this is Apollo Control, Houston. Seventy-five hours, uh, forty-nine minutes. Apollo thirteen. Like that. Well, I am expecting some choppiness here with all the stuff that's going on. So, so we're just gonna go for it. You can see all the buildings at Tokyo. So, there's the port of Yokohama. Uh, Quarish, Houston, loud and clear. Okay, uh, Vance, I, uh, I guess I understood y'all were amassing uh, some sort of list of things uh, that you were thinking about later on with the uh, taking uh, back from the limb across into the CSM. Uh, a couple items to uh, add to that list. Uh, we've uh, filtered the uh, the uh, intake uh, hose uh, screens out of the CSM, and we have them mounted on the limb hoses now to, uh, to catch the debris in here. We probably ought to take those back. So, okay. Yokohama, we, uh, we can still sort of see Mount Fuji in the background there. But it'll be shrouded soon. I don't think we can see it from the city very well. And this is Kawasaki in front of us now. And it is right beside Haneda Airport, which is a domestic airport. Narita Airport is across the bay and Chiba Prefecture. 
out from the moon, traveling at a velocity of uh, 4,943 feet per second. Our clock in mission control shows uh, we're at one hour, 10 minutes, uh, 30 seconds away from time of loss of signal as Aquarius and Odyssey uh, pass above the uh, backside of the moon. 75 hours, uh, 58 minutes, continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control, Houston. We, of course, won't directly land at Haneda. That is where I plan to land, but we will fly around Tokyo since the weather is good. Next time I'll be flying in a Fokker F-27, which would also be not a bad plane to fly around Tokyo in, but uh, since the weather is good, and we are using real world weather, so there's no telling how bad it's going to be next time. I probably would turn real world weather off, it was so bad that we couldn't sightsee, maybe. We'd have to make a judgment call on that. These buildings are partly from a pack that I imported that was uh, freeware for Flight Sim 10, actually. There is a method to import stuff. It's not perfect, uh, but uh, there is a way to import scenery from Flight Sim 10 into X-Plane 11. It's definitely not foolproof, though. So this is that freeware scenery. Very beautiful. Unless there's been a Tokyo pack release for x 11, which I actually overwrote that with. I'm not sure, I forget. Uh, I definitely had imported a pack into x 11 before, but it might be that there's there was a superseding Tokyo scenery for x 11 already. Very nice looking bridge. I mean, look at this. Okay, and we can see Tokyo Tower in front of us and then the new sky tree to the right is the tall structure. the Imperial Palace grounds. Uh, the cluster of buildings in front of us there is Shinjuku. Right, well. and Apollo Control Houston, uh, 76 hours, 18 minutes. Apollo 13, now 2623 nautical miles away from the moon. And uh, traveling at a velocity of uh, 50. I think this is your Yogi Park, but I might second. be wrong. Our display shows an altitude. Uh, 
at uh, closest approach of 137.5 nautical miles. Okay, we're gonna head back towards the airport. Having, ta having taken a mini tour of the place. Just uh, discussing uh, Burn Star monitoring, and uh, we were curious to know if uh, you can see Monk Nunky in D10 2 at this time. Over. Yep, I should probably get back into the cockpit. Okay, I don't know what the gear extension speed is, but we should probably check what kind of drag we get when the gear extends, because I expect there's going to be some. As far as flaps go, I'm not too sure it's good to use them with this because of the placement of the wing. They may have adverse effects. So I'm probably going to try and go in without at the bottom part of the CDR's window uh, at the bottom of the LPD vertical without flaps. That's a firm at tick. I'm getting knocked about a bit. Oh, and it sinks. It sinks a lot. It's Apollo Control, Houston. 76 hours, 30 minutes now. We show 13 at 2,074 nautical miles away. Okay. Okay, first of all, uh, general a, a little bit hard that these rules should be similar to LOI mode one aboard with the tight limits but it stops uh, pretty well I'll go through them one by one Let's, uh, release those brakes <coughs> lots of compression on that nose okay. gear you should shut down if any of the following happen we did not appear to break Trust anything that's good. I have broken this plane before. This is not my first attempt flying it, and it is. It has broken before. <laughs> it's, just, it's not invulnerable by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm very happy to have been able to bring it down in one piece. Fuel to Ox Delta P greater than 25 psi. That would have to be a ground call to you. Okay. Attitude error, plus or minus 10 degrees, with the exception of the start transient. Okay. Um, 
let me pause the audio there. So pretty quick flight this time, but a scenic one and with an uh, in intriguing plane. Um, and we will pick up the Apollo 13 audio next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.